Hello and welcome to Toy Ploy 2 and today we have an unboxing. I've just got this uh, one box that has arrived from a uh, sort of friend of the channel Heath. He's uh, been a friend of Toy Ploy for many many years and he sends me all sorts of bits uh, and last week he asked for something which I, I sent over to him and I wasn't expecting anything in return but this box has arrived so uh, I thought I'd just do a quick unboxing today. I'll open it up and see what Heath has sent over. As I say he's been a supporter of the channel for many many years and we've sort of swapped bits over that time and he has helped me with other projects. So I'm always intrigued as to what he's going to send. I have absolutely no idea what's in here. So let's just get on and open the box. OK, so there is a note and it says, Hey Dave, hope this finds you well. Encloses a bunch of stuff I hope you will find useful and enjoy. The resin badges are from my work logo and I made them for work colleagues. And I also included one of my Makers badges I made for this year's Maker Central. Cheers again, Heath. All right, well, let's have a look and see what this stuff is. Oh yeah, Heath has actually sent me badges before. I've got one on my notice board that he um, made a while back. So let's see what's in these little packages here. This one says Star Wars on the back of it. This is a pack of Star Wars playing cards that look like it's got pictures of vintage toys on them. Let's have a look at that. If it does, I think these will become my go-to playing cards. Look at that. It is pictures of uh, all the uh, vintage figures as playing cards. So we've got uh, Leia in the booster disguise as the uh, Queen there. We've got uh, Han as uh, the Jack. We've got uh, Obi-Wan as number 10. Oh, those are really cool. I've not seen those before. That is really nice actually. I wonder if it has uh, every single figure on it. There's not enough cards actually in the deck is it? It's only 52 cards so uh, yeah we'll have a good chunk of them. That is really cool. I've uh, not seen those before. Then we have a couple of figures. These look like uh, real Ghostbusters. So we've got uh, real Ghostbusters Ray there looking pretty worn and beaten but I reckon a good clean and he'll come up pretty nice. And then we have uh, Peter as well. This is the Fright Features version of Peter. So if you push his arm in, his head pops up and his mouth opens. Again, that's not a bad figure, just needs a little bit of a clean. And what else have we got in here? Wow, we've got some other bits. We've got a little Playmobil figure. If I can pull this out of the uh, bubble wrap. Which is a clear plastic sort of robot looking Playmobil. Looks a little bit like a Micronaut to me in its sort of colours and its brightness with its sort of silver bits. I really like that. I wonder what that's from. Then we go down another level and we have a badge. Oh look, it's a Skeletor enamel pin. Do you know what? I have a patch of this on one of my nerd vests already. It says uh, live, laugh, love and it's uh, Skeletor sort of cackling away. But as I said in my previous videos, I think I'm going to have to start a new nerd vest. So, yeah, that will go on the new nerd vest, nerd vest number three. Then we have, oh, look at that. It's a really tiny little He-Man figure. How diddy is that? It's the sort of figure that He-Man himself will play with. So an, a vintage He-Man figure can play with an even tinier little He-Man figure. That is amazing. Made in 2021 by Mattel. You can get to He-Man and Skeletor. How diddy is that? I think that's a pretty cool little thing. That's definitely going to go with one of my He-Man figures. Then we have this, which is a book of sorts, which is The Incredible Changing Bots by Jeffrey Brown. I wonder what that is. It's a comic book about uh, robots. I imagine it's a sort of a pastiche of uh, Transformers. That's really sweet. I'll have to read that one later. What have we got next? Right, well, these are the badges that Heath made. So if you want to follow him, he is Heathy666 on uh, Instagram. And um, yeah, he makes all sorts of cool things. That's nice. It's got a nice little sort of uh, floral pattern on there. Pretty cool. Is that a green man? Oh, actually, if I turn it around, it is the green man face. That's a very traditional uh, face that you see all around the UK. It's got a, a green man face on it. Very nice. Then we have another patch and a couple of stickers. I think the uh, stickers are of Heath himself. So that was what was on the front of the package. Those will be very cool. I actually stick those onto uh, my uh, sort of toy ploy action man carry case, which I may show you at the end of the video. I will stick one of them on. I think I've still got space for at least one more sticker on there. So that's nice. And then we have a predator patch. Another thing for the nerd vest. This looks like it's been used before. I like a used patch. Just gives them that little bit of age. Yeah, that's definitely going to go on the nerd vest as well. So that's two new things for the nerd vest. Well, in fact, three because we've got to Heath's badge as well. Then a whole load of other bits. Let's go down here. Well, here is this is uh, uh, Max Reinhardt from uh, the Disney's Black Hole, who's had a little bit of um, 
Yeah, a little bit of an accident. Maybe uh, Maximilian has uh, sliced off his arms. He's looking a little bit sorry for himself. Uh, hopefully I can find some arms for him at some point, but always useful to have uh, figures. Even if they're broken, the parts always come in handy. And then we have some more badges. All right, so these are the ones that he was saying, which are his work badges. So this is like a leaping rabbit. Got that in a few different uh, colors. These look like they're made out of resin. Really nice though. And then we're getting a bit deeper down. I can see some sweets. That's cool. Those will get eaten in a minute while I'm uh, editing this video. They won't last long at all. Then we've got another little baggie here which has a broken time traveller micronaut in it. So this is a blue uh, time traveller micronaut. He's missing a foot. He's got, uh, well, something's happened to the top of his head. It's like the top of his head has been sliced in half. But there's all the basic parts of the time traveller there, so he can be restored. I've probably got enough bits to fix that up, so maybe I can do a little uh, video on how to put those back together soon. Then what have we got? A couple more bits. There's some cassette boxes here. Oh, these are very useful. These are the micro cassette boxes you'll have seen in a few videos over on the Toy Ploy that I've been sorting out boxes for all of my uh, Transformers cassettes. And these are the boxes that they fit inside. So there's a couple more of those micro cassettes. That means a couple more of my uh, Transformers can have boxes made for them. Then I can see a few Smurfs. Pretty cool. We've got uh, this is like a sort of hiking Smurf. We've got the uh, flying Smurf and we've got a Smurf on a vintage telephone. I've uh, sort of slowly started getting a few of these. I didn't intend to collect them, but I'm certainly amassing a few more than I'd expected. So these can go with my sort of growing pile of Smurfs that I have here. And then this, what have we got here? This is a Star Wars. What is that? It's a Star Wars wallet. You can put all of your money and all your credit cards and be the uh, envy of everybody when you uh, go and pay for things in the shops. <laughs> That's pretty cool. There's also a box of Milliput in turquoise blue. I didn't know you could get that in sort of that sort of fancy colours. I've only ever bought it in white and yellow. That's quite nice. I would uh, have to give that a go. I'll mix some up and see what it comes out like. They always end up getting painted anyway, but I guess if your base colour needs to be a bit of a blue tint, that is going to be very useful. And then finally, what have we here? Let's open this up and see that one final thing here, which is a Powertron's car. What is this? It's made by Ertl. I don't know if I know that. Oh, I do. Yes, I know this. I think there's a version of this that looks like Knight Rider or something like that. I remember it. Yeah, they sort of are not Transformers knockoffs, but they're sort of a, a, a cheaper version of a Transformer. So this is a little bit of a play-worn version of that. It looks like it's missing something off the back there, but certainly a play-worn uh, sort of transforming car. OK, so as mentioned, this is where all of my stickers end up. This is the box that I store uh, my Action Man uh, sort of sidekicks in. So these are the ones that you'll see over on Toy Ploy. They all get stored in this, which uh, used to be an old wine box. In fact, I have a video on uh, how I sort of turn this into my storage case. But on the back of it, I stick all of the stickers that I get sent. So there you go. Heat sticker is now added to the bottom of this. Just got a little bit of space left and then I might have to start uh, moving on to the sides. But for now, you can see all of the people who sent me stickers. This is where they end up. I've got some pretty cool ones there. We've got Boil and Pop, we've got uh, Recollection Toys, RX Nemesis, uh, the For the Love of Toys, uh, Garden State Kaiju, NASA sort of a rogue one there. We've got the Ghostbusters Quick Response Unit. That's one from Tokyo Toy Banzai. We've got to Make Shape Create. And then an, another from RX Nemesis, which is the Zero Trooper. So it's a whole selection of stickers that I've been sent over the years. And there we go. So that is uh, all the stuff that he'd sent over. Uh, thanks again, Heath. It's uh, really much appreciated. I'm going to try and use all of these in uh, future projects and there's a few bits I can see I will be using uh, within the week because I do like a micronaut and I think that could make quite a fun video but so uh, all of the rest will get used in time so thanks for sending those over and I hope you like the thing that I sent you and please do send me a photo of it in use if you get a chance hopefully you have enjoyed this unboxing video if you have then make sure to hit the subscribe button and tap the bell to be notified each time I upload a new video and if you've really enjoyed it then head on over to my main channel Toy Ploy and subscribe there as well and thanks Thanks for watching.